from wax museums whose creepy, lifelike figures are rumored to move around after dark, to famous comedy venues harboring the ghostly manifestations of long-dead performers. Are you sure you're ready to brave my picks for some of the most haunted places in Los Angeles? Number 5. The Pico House the Pico House, located in Los Angeles, California, is a historic building that holds cultural significance and an intriguing history. Historically, this prestigious abode, completed in 1870, is a prominent landmark situated in the El Pueblo de Los Angeles Historic Monument area. It was originally constructed by Pio Pico, a prominent Californio and the last Mexican governor of Alta California, and was designed by Ezra F. Kaiser in the Italianate style, making it one of the most luxurious hotels in the city. The Pico House played a significant role in the early development of the city as a whole, serving as a symbol of its growth and prosperity. It was strategically located near the booming commercial district in the bustling Los Angeles Plaza and catered to a diverse clientele, including wealthy travelers, businessmen, and local residents alike. Over time, the Pico House faced multiple challenges, including economic downturns and a changing urban dynamic, and eventually fell into disrepair, undergoing numerous restoration efforts through the late 20th century to preserve its historical significance. Today, it stands as a museum and a testament to the rich history of Los Angeles. Through its extensive existence, the Pico House has long been associated with an impressive slew of purported hauntings and supernatural phenomena. One of the most commonly reported sightings across its bounds is that of a ghostly woman dressed in 19th century clothing. Incidentally, witnesses have described observing her wandering about the halls or standing near its windows, and some speculate she may be the spirit of a former resident or guest who once stayed on the property. Both visitors and staff have also reported hearing unexplained noises within the Pico House, such as footsteps, whispers, and the sounds of doors opening and closing on their own, which are often associated with the presence of spirits or residual energy. Additionally, some have described detecting a sense of unease, cold spots, or a heavy atmosphere while on site, and many tell of feeling as if they're always being watched by someone or something unseen. Number 4. The Hollywood Wax Museum the Hollywood Wax Museum, located at 6767 Hollywood Boulevard out of Hollywood in Los Angeles, California, is a popular tourist attraction known for its collection of lifelike wax figures depicting celebrities and other significant names. Historically, this museum was founded by Spoonie Singh, a prominent entrepreneur in 1965, who envisioned creating a monument that would celebrate the glamour and allure of Hollywood's entertainment industry. His museum quickly became a popular destination for tourists and locals alike, offering them a chance to get up close and personal with wax replicas of their favorite famous movie stars, musicians, and other notable figures. Over its years, the Hollywood Wax Museum expanded its collection and became an iconic landmark on Hollywood Boulevard and has undergone renovations and updates to enhance visitors' experiences, including the additions of interactive exhibits and themed sections. In the present, the museum remains a popular attraction, allowing for visitors to take photographs with all of their favorite celebrities, both past and present, as well as immerse themselves in the world of Hollywood. While the reasons for paranormal activity at the museum remain up for speculation, many believe its bounds haunted by the souls of those tied to it in lives since past, while others have theorized that the wandering and restless spirits of featured actors not yet ready to leave town may have gravitated toward their own wax figures. And while reports of phenomena on site are not as varied as other locations, they are indeed worthy of this list. Both staff and visitors to The Expanse have reported extreme temperature fluctuations without cause, orbs in the backgrounds of photography and video, and encounters with both full-bodied apparitions and shadowy manifestations. Eerie and inexplicable sounds are often heard emanating from empty spaces, personal electronics commonly malfunction or die sporadically, and many have described feeling a general sense of unease, as if they're always under watch. Lastly, most famously, and honestly most horrifyingly, many have told of various wax figures moving on their own, shifting their gazes to follow those passing, or even tilting their heads after dark. Number 3. The Hollywood Pacific Theater 
The Hollywood Pacific Theater, formerly the Warner Hollywood Theater or the Warner Bros Theater, is a prominent historic venue located right off of the Hollywood Walk of Fame in Los Angeles, California. Historically, the Warner Pacific Theater, designed by architect G. Albert Landsberg, opened its doors on April 26th of 1928. It was one of several venues owned and operated by the Warner Bros. chain and was known for its opulent Spanish colonial revival architecture. With its distinct facade featuring ornate details, grand archways, and a prominent tower. Through its earlier years, the Warner Pacific Theater was a popular venue for film premieres showcasing the latest Hollywood releases. Its grandeur and luxurious ambiance made it a sought-after destination for moviegoers, and it also hosted live performances, including concerts and stage shows, contributing to its status as a cultural hub of the era. Over time, the Warner Pacific Theater faced multiple challenges as the film industry evolved. The rise of the multiplex cinemas and evolving audience preferences posed difficulties for single-screen theaters like itself, and after undergoing various ownership changes, it eventually closed its doors in 1994, namely due to earthquake and water damage. Through its many years, the Warner Pacific Theater has gained an impressive reputation for alleged paranormal activity on site, with numerous reports of ghostly encounters and eerie experiences. One of the most well-known supernatural apparitions associated with the theater is its resident lady in blue. According to associated legends, the apparition of a woman dressed in a blue gown has been spied wandering about, with some speculating that she may be the spirit of a former actress or patron who had a deep connection to the property. Visitors and staff members have also reported hearing unexplained voices, whispers, and footsteps within the theater, and others have described detecting conversations or laughter while no one else is present, leading to suspicions of supernatural entities. Additionally, there have been claims of unexplained equipment malfunctions such as lights flickering or sound systems acting erratically, and some individuals have reported sudden drops in temperature or extreme cold spots. While this weathered theater is currently closed and its future uncertain, its purported hauntings contribute to the site's allure and a fascination surrounding its history. Notably, as an LA historic cultural monument, it remains an iconic symbol of Hollywood's golden age and continues to captivate those interested in both its architectural beauty and the potential for supernatural encounters. Number 2. The Comedy Store the Comedy Store, located on Sunset Strip out of Los Angeles, California, is one of the most famous and iconic comedy clubs in the world. That boasts a rich history as a significant venue for stand-up comedy since its establishment. Historically, The Comedy Store was founded under Sammy Shore, a comedian, and his wife Mitzi Shore in 1972. Originally a former nightclub known as Ciro's, the building was transformed into a venue that would showcase rising talents and would become a home for established comedians, and quickly became a breeding grounds for comedic talent, launching the careers of numerous high-profile artists such as Richard Pryor, Robin Williams, and Steve Martin. Over the years, the Comedy Store expanded its reach and reputation, hosting performances by renowned comedians across the globe, and even today continues to act as a prominent venue for stand-up comedy, offering multiple stages and hosting a variety of shows each night. Chillingly, the Comedy Store has garnered a reputation for being haunted, with numerous reports of paranormal activity within its premises, many of which are often centered around the main room, the belly room, and the basement, which is known as the dungeon. One of the most famous comedy store legends involves the ghost of Sam Kinison, a beloved comedian who performed on site and who tragically died in a car accident in 1992. Some claim to have observed his ghost in the main room, where he allegedly continues to haunt both the front and backstage areas. Many staff members and comedians have also reported hearing unexplained laughter echoing throughout the club, even during times when no live performances are taking place. That's often described as eerie and disembodied with no discernible source, while other visitors and employees have described sighting shadowy figures moving in the corners of their vision, or feeling a presence in certain areas of the club, often alongside extreme cold spots. Some comedians and staff members have experienced strange occurrences such as their items being moved around or misplaced, minor incidents that are often attributed to mischievous spirits playing small pranks. The aforementioned basement of the comedy store, or the dungeon, has a reputation for being a particularly active zone, and there, employees and performers have told of feeling uneasy or sensing an overall heavy atmosphere. 
If you're interested in experiencing the vibrant world of stand-up comedy and potentially exploring the alleged hauntings at the Comedy Store, attending a live show can provide an exciting opportunity. Notably, the venue continues to host performances, and visitors can immerse themselves in the rich comedic history and electric atmosphere for which the club is renowned. Number 1. Griffith Park Griffith Park, located in Los Angeles, California, is not just one of the largest urban parks in California, but in the whole of the country. Spanning over 4,300 acres, this notable site totes a rich history steeped in local lore and is known for its natural beauty, recreational activities, and cultural landmarks. Historically, Griffith Park was named after Colonel Griffith J. Griffith, a Welsh industrialist and philanthropist who donated the land for its creation to the city of Los Angeles in 1896. Griffith's intention was to create a public space that would provide a place for recreation, education, and culture. And over its years, the park has evolved and expanded to include numerous attractions, including the Griffith Observatory, the Los Angeles Zoo, the Autry Museum of the American West, the Greek Theater, and various hiking trails. Chillingly, this aged park has long been associated with various paranormal phenomena and ghostly legends, only furthering its popularity amongst both history buffs and supernatural researchers of all walks. One popular legend associated with Griffith Park revolves around Don Antonio Feliz, a wealthy Spanish landowner who presided over Rancho Los Feliz, which included the area now occupied by the park. According to Associated Tales, Felice was murdered by a nephew named James Williams who wanted to gain control of said land, and it's rumored that Felice's ghost still haunts the park to this day, forever searching for his lost deeds. Incidentally, visitors have reported encountering a spectral figure dressed in old-fashioned clothing who bears Felice's likeness, as well as experiencing eerie sensations in certain areas of his former grounds. The Griffith Observatory, a prominent landmark within Griffith, has its share of ghost stories as well. One such story tells of a janitor who died while working in the observatory and whose ghost is said to continue his duties from the afterlife. Notably, there have been reports of strange sounds, unexplained movements, and sightings of a figure in old janitorial garb roaming the premises. Griffith Park's Old Zoo, which operated from 1912 to 1965, is often associated with supernatural happenings. And within its aged premises, visitors have reported hearing animal noises, feeling strange sensations, and even witnessing apparitions in the abandoned cages and ruins. Incidentally, it's believed that the restless spirits of both animals and possibly former zookeepers linger. Another popular legend connected to Griffith Park revolves around the Lady in Black. According to these stories, a woman dressed in black haunts the park's picnic area and surrounding hiking trails. Some claim that she might be the entity of a grieving mother mourning the loss of her children, while others speculate that she may actually be the spirit of a hiker who met an unfortunate end within the park. Whatever the case, encounters with the Lady in Black typically involve fleeting glimpses of a figure in dark clothing that drifts about before it disappears without a trace. Last but not least, Colonel Griffith J. Griffith, the park's benefactor, has his own associated ghostly reputation. After shooting his wife in a fit of delusion, he was convicted of attempted murder and served time in prison. And legend has it that he placed a curse on the park, predicting that it would be plagued by misfortune for years to come. While many believe Griffith's curse is more folklore than fact, some interpret various setbacks and tragedies associated with its bounds as manifestations of this magical marring. Taking its fascinating history into account and coupling it with such an impressive assortment of purported paranormal activity and encounters with ghostly manifestations, I felt Griffith Park was the perfect choice as the most haunted place in Los Angeles. Thanks for joining me for my picks for some of the most haunted places in Los Angeles, California. If you enjoyed hearing my histories and ghost stories, subscribe to my channel, like this upload, and share me with anyone you feel could use a good scare. Until next time.